Hi, in this video, we will look at another common scenario of implementing role level security in many to many relationships. So let me briefly explain the scenario here. We have four tables. They are the teacher table, the course, the teachers table and the number of students attended table. The teacher table holds the list of teachers and the course table holds the list of courses. The teachers table basically contains which teacher teaches a particular course. So for example, if I have taught chemistry and biology, the teachers table will contain two records. And finally, we have the number of students attended table, which basically contains the number of students attended each month. So first let's go to Power BI and import this data and see how the relationships work and then we'll try to enable row level security for this scenario. Till now we have only seen how row level security works in a single directional relationship or one to many or many to one. We have not seen that for many to many relationship. The implementation of row level security works a little differently for many to many relationships. So we will see how to do that. First, I will go and import all the different data. So I have the data with my Excel sheet. So what I will do is I will just go and enter the data here. So first I'm going to create the teacher table. So I will be having ID or rather I will say teacher ID just to be more specific. And the second column will be the name and the third one will be the email. And I'm going to copy paste the data that I have. This is a very familiar data that you have seen till now. And let me rename the table as teacher or teachers and say load. Once the teachers table is loaded, let me go and import the courses table. So again, go into enter data and this course table will have only two columns. The first column is the course ID column and the second column is the course name column or I will just have it course and I already have the data with me. So these are the list of courses that can be taught by the teachers that we had created earlier. I will name the table as courses and I will say load. Now the teachers and the courses table, they have a many to many relationship because one teacher may teach many courses and a single course can be taught by many teachers. So to model this relationship, we need to create another table, which is called the teachers table that will contain entries from both the courses table and the teachers table. So let me go to enter data again. And this table again will have two different columns. The first column is the teacher ID column that will basically reference your teacher ID column within the teachers table. And the second column is nothing but the course ID column. And this will reference the course ID column within the courses table. And they will have a data which I am copy pasting here, which basically says the teacher one has taught the course one, course three and course two. So let me name this table as a teacher's table. So it's kind of depicting your relationship because each course can be taught by a teacher. So just say load. And once the data is loaded, let me go into the relationship tab and observe the relationship that our Power BI has created. Note that Power BI has successfully picked up the relationship between the different tables. The teacher ID from the teacher's table references the teacher ID from the teacher's table and the course ID from the courses table references the course ID from the teacher's table. So let's go and add the final table to our model. Again, go into enter data and this table will have three different columns. So the first one is the month, month in which the course was taught. The second column is the course ID column. And the third column is the number of students who have attended the courses. So let me paste the data and this table indicates that the course one was taught in the months of May and since the data is same, 
what I will do is I will just go and uh, change it and I will change the number as well. So let me go to the relationship tab and let me arrange these uh, entities. So to this model, we need to apply dynamic row level security. Okay. So the teachers are the ones who will log into the system. They are the ones who see the data of the number of students attended for the course that they have taught. And that's the reason why we have email in their uh, table. So if we just create a role by taking their email ID and just saying their email ID is equal to user principal name, the data will not work. The model will not work because the filters will not be propagated. Okay. That's basically because if you say email is a user principal name, that filter will travel to this particular table, teacher's table, because you see the direction is from the teacher's table and to the teacher's table. But from the teacher's table, the filter will not propagate to the course's table because the direction is reversed. So two things will not happen. The data will not be correct and the security also will not be propagated. So let's see a demo of that now. So in the report section, just select the name of the teacher. And within the students attended table, just select the number of students. And you see all the numbers are same indicating that there is something wrong. So to really go and fix this, what we need to do is we need to enable the filter to travel from the teacher's table to the courses table. So just double click on that and say, cross filter direction has both. So it will basically filter from the teacher's table to the courses table and from the courses table to the teacher's table, which it is already doing. So once you modify that, check this box as well so that the security filter also will be applied in both the directions and say, okay. So now if you go to the reports tab, you will see that the data has been reflected correctly. So now let me go to my modeling tab and just create the role. And I need to create a role for the dynamic role level security. So just go to the teachers table and say add filter and select email. So I need to have the email as user principal name. And I will change the name of the role to teacher and just save. Once done, I will go to my home tab and just publish the Power BI file. Once done, let me navigate to Power BI service. In the Power BI service, let me go to my data set and go to security. And let me add Karthik, who is the teacher with ID number one. I see that I have already added him. So let me go and test the role. You notice that the row level security is applied successfully because I'm only seeing the record for myself. And let me go and change it as Karthik. And the data gets filtered for Karthik. Note that since Karthik is teaching all the three different subjects, course ID 1, course ID 2 and course ID 3, he will be getting all the different students enrolled for those months. So let me go to Power BI to show you that Karthik teaches all the three different courses, one, two, and three. And what we were doing is we were basically summing up the total number of students attended by the courses that they taught, that the teachers taught, even if they did not individually teach the course. And if you sum all these numbers up, you will get 345. In summary, we have seen how to implement row level security for many to many relationships in Power BI. This is the easiest method to implement. However, this is not really recommended. For that reason, we will be seeing one more different way to implement the same row level security in Power BI in the next video tutorial. Thank you.